What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I want to show you guys the top new tweaks that came out in the last couple of days. So make sure to like, comment and subscribe. So the first one I want to show you guys is called Safi. Safi is a folder tweak. So basically if you go to my folder you can see the way the folder looks. And you guys could go to settings and set it up however you could have it at extra light blur. Go to the folder, it switches up. Or you could even change the, the blur so when you go back down you can see it's kind of transparent and if you bring that bar all the way down it gets more transparent which is weird but it works best if you have it all the way up and down here you could hide the icons you could hide the icon the folder hide the folder title hide the folder dots all that kind of stuff so if you want to trick out your folders you guys could check this one out it's called Safi and the next one is called small Siri small Siri is a real cool tweak so if you don't want to have Siri take up the whole screen then you could just use small Siri and it'll just be at the top hey Siri just like that you see it's just at the top and you can still interact with whatever you're doing yes so yeah that one is called small Siri nothing to really configure it's just small Siri and the other one is called notification notification is basically a tweet that whenever you get a notification just like that you see that so that's what notification does and you could actually go into settings you guys could set it up however you like so you could I got the particles right now you could do the confetti you could do the circles let's do the confetti and you get a little preview of whatever you're trying to do when you get a notification you can see that one goes all the way around there's a lot of them notification so if you want to enhance your notification you guys could check out notification notification and then the other one is called by the font 3 for iOS 11 so if you want to change the font on your phone I made a dedicated video about this it will be linked in the description and also at the end of this video but basically if you want to change the font on your phone system wide you could set it up so this whole setup right here is a font you change the whole font it's in Twitter it's in Facebook it's system wide so if you want to change the font off your phone you guys could use this by the font 3 open up go to tweak and you guys could just choose your font whichever font you want right now I'm using chartboard SE so if you guys want to change your font there you go and the next tweak is called carrier cleaner if you want to get rid of your carrier you guys could use carrier cleaner so let's swipe down if you look in the status bar there's no carrier right there so that's what this tweet does it just gets rid of your carrier so if you want to get rid of it this is one tweet that you could try out it's called carrier cleaner and then the other one is called fleeting switcher 11 so this one is for your app switcher so you see how everything is square and all that so everything is square and you could do a lot with this you could actually have everything private and you could just swipe away just like that without actually after holding down onto the the app so let's go to settings look at that one let's go to settings let's go back up here it is right here so you guys will set it up swipe up to kill apps you know what I mean so all these you could set it up however you like and when you're done you just hit respring and you'll be fine so let's put let's put that on respring so let's go to the app switcher now and now everything is kinda you see that everything is blurred out nobody knows you see the, the label but you don't see a preview of whatever is on the screen but the app switcher is still working as you can see so if I want to go back to Twitter we just scroll through scroll through Where's Twitter? Okay. Let's just go to settings. 
tap on it and it will bring you back to setting. So that one is called Fleeting Switcher 11. And then the other one is called Volume Song Skipper. So if you want to use your volume to skip your songs, this is the tweak you need. So let's go over here. So you got to keep pressing for it to go down. But if you want to skip the song, you have you put a long press and it will skip. Just like that. And then the opposite way to go back and if you press both of them the sound will pause it's kinda hard to do just like that press both of them the sound will play and pause and then if you wanna turn up the volume you just tap tap long press the sound will skip both and it will pause. So that one is called Volume Skipper 11.3 and then the other one is called Custom Alert X. Custom Alert X is basically a notification tweet. If I send myself a test text let's just, just send and wait for it to come in you're gonna see what I'm talking about. See that around the, the edges of the phone? You get that right there and you tap and you can see the text so yeah that one is called custom alert X is a pretty cool tweak you can go in the settings and switch it up however you like so the other one is called FU gap gets rid of the gap that's usually at the top of the control center usually there's a huge gap so if you want to get rid of that gap you guys could download FU gap and then the other one is called faster scroll so if I go to settings this one is pretty cool but you just gotta make sure you get it right so it's called faster scroll so if I have it enabled and I hit all the way up and then I respring so if I go to settings now and I go to scroll you see how fast that is it's like you can't even see anything as soon as you, it's kinda of hard to find whatever you're looking for because it's moving so fast so fast so yeah if you want to speed up your scrolling you guys could download this tweak it's called faster scroll and then the other one is called photo lock photo lock is a pretty cool tweak so if I go to my photos here the screenshot and I could lock it so you see if I hit that lock right there this is how you get privacy so if I hit that lock right there and you scroll to the left or right all you're gonna get is uh, some blank images then it you get everything just goes bye byes. So then if I want to unlock it, I hit the lock, and then I could authenticate it with my face, and then I get the picture back. But if I want to show somebody a picture, I could just tap right here, hit lock, and it's locked. And if they scroll, the picture goes away, so they can't see anything. So that one is called photo lock. The other one is called hideaway. So what this does is basically lets you hide all the stuff on your lock screen. So if you want to hide your flashlight or your camera or whatever you have on your lock screen, that's all you do. Just download it and you'll be fine. So everything is gone, but you can still get to your camera by swiping right. So yeah, that one is called hideaway. And if I go to settings, Go to settings, just go scroll down. Gotta take my time because this thing's moving so fast. Where is it at? Hide away. You could enable it, and that's about it for the settings. So, yeah, if you want to hide those stuff on your lock screen, go ahead and do that. And then the other one is called fast forward. Fast forward basically adds the seconds to your lock screen camera, lock screen clock. So, if you want to add the seconds, as you can see right here. You guys could download this one. This one is called Fast Forward Time. And then the other one is called CC Time X. CC Time X basically, when you pull on your control center, you now you get the time at the top. And then the other one is called Chroma Home Bar X. If you look at my home bar, if I go to settings, where settings, you can see right there. The home bar, you can see it's switching colors. This is real dope. I'm definitely keeping this one. So it's switching colors, it's doing its thing. And yeah, that one is called Home Bar Chroma Home Bar X. So let's find it and show you guys the settings. So you could enable it and you could go in there 
and you can set up the colors however you like. I didn't mess with any of the colors, I just enabled it and it looks pretty cool right there. The colors are switching, it's rolling through, it looks fine. So that one is called Chroma Home Bar X. And then the other one is called Size Finder. Size Finder is if you go to wiggle mode, you can see the, the size of the apps. So you can see that right there. And you guys could still delete them if you want to, you could just tap and it'll give you the option to delete but you can hit cancel but right where the X is you see that the size of the app so that one is called size finder so the next one is called car bar car bar is a real cool one definitely a keeper so if I go right here and I swipe at the top you can see I get this whole setup right here and even if I get a call I could swipe away and it'll go away if I get a call it won't take up the whole screen all that will pop up is it will pop up right up top just like this it will just pop up up top just like this and I could take the call or cancel the call or I could just force touch on it and it will open up on the screen and you could actually move this up and down and whatever and the FaceTime is definitely let's just swipe away I'll bring it back up and then swipe to the left and it should go away and let's go to our screenshot real quick so when I get a call that's how it looks so I was on the phone with my wife and I could still interact with it. If I force touch on it, it would open up all the way. I could end the call. I could do all that. And FaceTime with my son, I could still interact with the phone. And that's his picture right there. And that's me right there. And I have everything right here. So every, this stuff gives you the whole, like you could keep doing whatever you're doing. It's a lot less intrusive. Usually it takes up the whole screen. You can't do anything else. If you get it on call, you could just ignore it while you're doing whatever without having to tapping on the button just ignore it keep typing and doing whatever so that's what car bar is awesome awesome tweet definitely worth the four bucks so yeah check it out and then the other one is called modern respring pack so if you see that respring logo with the hands tapping like this the fingers tapping this is what gave me this so if I go in there if I go to anemone and thanks to the guy for hitting me up and let me know about this real dope so if I go down here she says modern respring pack so if I tap on it the one I'm using right now is calling the hand tap and these right here is coming soon and I could switch it so all I have to do is check whichever one I put the spinning cube uncheck that one hit preview apply respring and you can see that respring right there so let's just go through these and show you some of them. So there you go guys. Let me know what you think about these tweaks. And most of these are new tweaks. So definitely, definitely worth checking out. Car bar is definitely a keeper. The respring one is definitely a keeper. And uh, home bar. These Home bar, Chroma home bar, those are the ones I'll be keeping from this video. So it's Prince with ATP 101. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching.